first thought when you found out that you guys were pregnant? Um, I think that we were both really surprised. Oh my god, my baby's having a baby! Is that legal? Definitely disbelief and real, really excited because it's. I was really ready to have a kid. My baby can't be having a baby. She's only. <laughs> Can this be happening? I was super excited but really surprised because I swear, like a month earlier, I talked to Katie about it. She was like, nah. I think we were at the gin mill and it was the first time I met them. And I remember thinking that she didn't look like she was pregnant at all. I knew I had super swimmers, and so I wasn't all that surprised. My thought was, oh gee, I'm gonna be a great, great, great na na na. I was excited. Excited. So excited. So unbelievably grandma. excited. We're gonna be grandparents finally. And we waited so long. Of course, I was happy for them. I know Dallas has been wanting a, a baby for a long time. <sighs> My daughter, she's gonna have a baby. Oh, I thought it'd take longer. It's like, okay, get off birth control, I'll take a year or two. Yeah. Can she, that really be happening? Yeah, I was worried. I was worried about her. My first response is, she's going to have to get that baby out of there. And it's about time. Yeah. That was a wonderful Father's Day gift. It was a wonderful Father's Day gift. And I think I'd even ask Katie, like, are you pregnant? Are you thinking about it? She lied to me. Now that she's a year old, what stands out the most about one-year-old Carter to you? The way she analyzes and looks at people and looks at stuff she's never seen before. She's just so happy all the time. And her smile, her wide open signature smile. I think, um, I mean, besides of course her amazing, fantacular roles that she gets from her uncle. She's got a personality. So she's talking and laughing and... She seems really, really independent and just happy. Like she has this unique little personality. She's so observant of everything. Like she just really takes everything in. She's got the sweetest personality. She's sweet, she's funny, and she's intense really independent and like, she's one of the happiest babies she's, I've ever met. You know, she's much more vocal now. She's moving around. She shows emotion like way more than I ever thought she would. She is just very intuitive, just stares and... It's like she really thinks about everything. She's studying the world. She's gonna have a killer personality. When she gets up, she's happy. She's happy all the time. Happy, happy baby. What's the funniest thing you've experienced during Carter's first year? About her first time eating. Her, she was gagging and it was mm -hmm. hilarious. I think when she looks at you and in her little mind, you're talking to her and she's in her little mind, she's trying to say those words and she'll take off and leave you. And then she'll say, Maybe the words. I have to say that when you say, how big is Carter? That is pretty funny. And she raises her hand so big. She would always be grunting and groaning. And it was like she was trying to, like she was trying to molt out of her skin. One day when I was over there watching her when Katie was gone, I went up into the bedroom to get her from her nap. And the second you opened the door, it was like poop. <laughs> Of course, Dallas tells me, you know, she'll be asleep by nine. She poops like once a week. <clears throat> she definitely fountain peed all over me when I was changing her diaper. She makes me laugh every time I see her. She makes me laugh. When she does her... Ah! Only when she poops on you. <laughs> so Katie had a mountain of poop on her arm the other day, and yes, that made me dry you. She was leaning over with her arms out and I thought she was doing an airplane and I soon realized she was pooping and farting. She had to lean over to be able to do that. I love the sound she makes. I think she imitates 
Noni with her that, and then she did a the other day. Her head was just so heavy and she couldn't like roll over or stand on her, you know, all fours. And she just kind of like tipped forward and then like went straight to her face and didn't know what to do. What is the one thing that you can't wait for with Carter growing up? Oh my God, there's so many. I can't wait to see her be old enough to go to college and get married. It's all the firsts. It's the first day at school. and the... I want to take her on a 14er. <laughs> to see how she just grows up and reacts to everything. I can't wait until she's old enough to communicate and talk. Her first day of school. Next year's Christmas should be fun. To watch her walk for the first time and her first words. To see how she handles Katie and Dallas yes. and what that looks like. I don't know, I guess some of the most memorable, exciting times I had with my kids was those um, teen years. I'm so excited to teach her about what I know about art and music. Teen years, when you're going through, when you're starting to date, and you go to prom, and you go to homecoming, and I think that's a lot of times when you see a lot of who the person is going to be develop. I can't wait for her to talk to me. Right now, I can't wait for her to have like a conversation. I can't wait to be sitting at the table for breakfast and her tell me a story about who knows what. I look forward to scaring the boys off. I'm excited to just get to like talk to her and hang out with her. <laughs> yes, Grandpa, <laughs> with a shotgun. Yeah. I think it's that I can't wait until she becomes, she starts becoming old enough to like kind of learn her personality, like who she's really gonna be. I think just watching her grow each year out playing in the yard with the kids, running, hollering, chasing the dogs, maybe your first time going to kindergarten. Wow, to see all the firsts. I was just gonna say that. Pretend I'm 10 year old Carter. What's the best piece of advice you could give me for childhood? Just go outside. Don't sit in front of the TV. Just be a kid. Don't jump off the roof. Or don't try settle. to light your house on fire. Yeah. Don't try to grow up too fast. I agree. Be kind to all of your friends and just everyone that you encounter. Um, treat everyone how you would want to be treated. Just have hey, fun. Just have fun. When you're a kid, just have, don't worry about what anybody thinks. Don't worry about what anybody thinks of you. Just go have fun and enjoy life. Ground your roots in your identity and who you are and just find those good people that are going to support you. Be kind and be happy. If somebody bites you, bite them back get in trouble, scrape your knees, try everything you possibly can. Be a 10 year old and enjoy every day for the age you are and enjoy the kids that are your age. Laugh, play, have fun. Be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be addicted to your iPhone and iPad and video games. Go out and play. Go make snow angels. What else do you do when you're 10? Go play in mud puddles. Get into things and explore things. Don't talk to boys. Yeah, we're all killed him. Now pretend that I'm 18 year old Carter. What's the best piece of advice you can give me for being an adult? Say no to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> do what makes you happy. Never forget who you are. These are <laughs> Don't let fear stop you from doing anything that you want to do. I think it's important to not fall into this like cycle of just doing things because you feel like you have to. Gee, Carter, at 18, you'll be off to college. Don't follow a crowd just because, or don't do things just because you think you're going to lose all of your friends if you don't follow them. Be smart. 
I'd say find a good balance in just everything that you do and how you think. Make good decisions. Uh, work hard and everything will work out for you. Work hard, be compassionate, care about the well, human condition. A lot of people tell you when you're 18 that it's rough out there, they're trying to scare you to death. Have fun with your life. Just live a big life, be adventurous, take pride in everything that you do. Make your decisions wisely. Make God the center of your life. Value your family. Follow your passion. Have a positive attitude. Your working life is going to be spent doing something for a lot of time, you know, away from your family, away from your friends. Make sure it's something that you enjoy doing and that you're passionate about. Keep your sense of adventure. There's no rush to settle down or just go see the world. When you get ready to leave home, be happy, work hard, and graduate with your good with a degree and enjoy college. To be yourself, and if you're not really sure yet who you are, to not be afraid of doing whatever you need to do to figure that out. What's the one thing you want most for Carter? Just be grounded in your faith and know that people love you. Confidence in herself and just instilling that she won't let fear or you know self-doubt hold her back from her dreams. I hope she has courage massive amounts of courage. Just happiness, really. The courage to believe, to be a believer, and just, there's a whole lot of things in life to try new things, and it all kind of, kind of comes back to courage. If you want to be happy, you will be, and as you get older, you'll understand, you know, that in the end, that's just the most important thing. I want Carter to be healthy. I want Carter to be loved. I want her to be passionate. Well, we know she's going to have a wonderful life. She's got two wonderful parents yeah. who love her to death and grandparents that all love her and aunts and uncles that all love her. Her health and a good relationship with God. I don't want her to be happy and with herself and she wants to do with her life. I think Grandpa and Grandma Van Allen said it very well. And be happy, love, courage, and be like her, be as happy as her mom and dad is. Family and love. That's it. Even dad's gonna cry. Yeah. Love. I want her to be loved and to be able to experience love. There's no other reason to be on earth if you don't have love. Happy, Happy first, first birthday, birthday Carter. Carter! We, we love, love you. you! Happy birthday, Carter. Happy birthday, Carter. Happy birthday, Carter. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Love you. Happy one-year birthday, Carter. We love you. Happy first birthday, Carter. Happy birthday, Carter, number one to number one. Happy birthday, baby girl. <laughs> Happy birthday, my love. I love you so much. Uh, grow big. Not that. Big fat. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, she's anything like her dad. <laughs>